So what is the best free email marketing software or service for the make money online niche in 2021? Well, it's the same email marketing software that will allow you to create and manage your email list completely for free. You can send broadcasts on follow-up emails. You can pre-schedule follow-up emails for a month, two months. It's up to you. You can create free, gorgeous landing pages. You can create free opt-in forms and pop-ups, free blog with search engine optimization options. I mean, this is alone a great option. I mean, on top of the email marketing services, they will allow you to create a blog with search engine optimization options. And if you decide to promote this service, you'll be making 40% recurring commissions on any one that upgrades on the system. You will be able to do, on top of that, you will be able to create sales funnels, complete sales funnels, and much more. You can integrate your PayPal, your Stripe, and then start selling digital products so please find my affiliate link in the description below this video and let's jump into some details what's up friends i'm mar here and in this video i'll walk you through some of the amazing features that you can use within system io so as you can see here i am on my dashboard and i wanted to show you my affiliate dashboard first i want to get this out of the way and then i will go to the features of the software so if you decide to promote system io you will be making 40 percent lifetime recurring commissions and if you're doing affiliate marketing it will be i think it will be a good idea to promote such a nice and helpful tool and that is 100 free i mean you can do lots of things for free but if people decide to upgrade to the next levels you'll be making a good recurring commission. So everything you can do with this free software is found on the top menu here. Everything is here. And since we're talking about email marketing today, we'll be using these two menus here, emails and funnels. Emails lets you create your list or let's call it campaign in the software here. You create it and you set up pre-scheduled emails that will go out to go out to follow up uh, with your subscribers but if you want to send a one-time newsletter you come here and you send that newsletter but in the first place you need to collect emails so that's where you go to funnels and then you create your squeeze pages thank you pages opt-in forms pop-ups etc now the blogging option is great but i'm not going to talk about it today maybe i will make a video later and also for the automation and sales funnels will be more videos in the future in the last video i showed you how it was easy and fast to create landing pages like these to collect emails to your list but today i'm going to go to the basic options to create your campaign or list and then set everything up before going ahead and creating the pages so the first thing you want to do before creating your campaign is set up your mailing settings and for that you need to click on your picture on your profile and click on settings here and you will see this page and then you come here to mailing settings and then you want of course to uh, choose double opt-in that's to be on the safe side uh, about spam etc so what you do is you edit the confirmation email people when they sign up to your forms they will be sent an email they need to go ahead and click on that confirmation link in order to get the thank you page so you can click on this button here and then you can customize your uh, uh, confirmation email it says here important confirm your subscription then you can write down anything here and you have the short code for the confirmation link here is where you uh, set up the sender name and here is where you set up the sender email i'm choosing i'm using actually a, an account called email marketing on this platform so this is why i'm calling this free email marketing uh, the sender email it's better if it is your own domain but if it's a gmail or yahoo account 
it doesn't really uh, matter but it's better if you have your own domain and then make sure you save this work here and now you're good to go when you come back here you can put the sender email address once more here and the sender's name and this is a test email address every time you want to send a test email you will receive it on this address here so make sure you save the information that you uh, updated on this page and then you can go ahead and start building your list and now let's go ahead and see how to create our email list actually you go to emails and then you choose campaigns this is what we call them here and as you can see here I have a campaign called email marketing and it has only one email in it so if I open it I will see my first email called thank you and welcome and I want it to go right away after the subscription this is what why we see here zero minutes and if you want to add the second follow-up email all you have to do is click here add an email and then you'll put your subject line here let's let's actually grab a um, an example this is my subject line for example control C I go back here and then control V this is my second email the sender will be the same sender name the same and then I could put the body of the message here so let's go ahead and grab it put it like this control C and I will put it like this control V I can put a link to uh, this and then you come to the uh, right hand side and you set up the delay before sending this email and I like to send it like for example after day one they will receive this email a day after they subscribe so after this email you can set up what is the next option but I will leave this alone it says here that this email will go after the first one which was the thank you and the welcome and I'm good with this I can do more options here but I know that this tutorial is for beginners so just make sure you send a second email on the for example second day or third day it's up to you and then you keep adding emails to your campaign so this is my second email and it goes out on day one and you can keep doing this until you're good with your follow-up series so now you have an email list and you have a pre-scheduled email that will go out automatically to those guys and now if you want to send the broadcast like a one-time email you just come here and send that broadcast now when you want to create your first campaign all you have to do is click on emails and then campaigns and then you click on this button create and then you name your campaign let's name it viral traffic click on the create campaign now you have a brand new campaign that has zero emails you open it you click inside of it and then you add your first email which is usually the thank you or welcome email so just uh, create it paste your email here with the links and everything and then make sure it goes on day zero minute zero so it goes right away after the subscription and then you, cl you click on save once you create it so I didn't put the um, I didn't put any content here so I want to go ahead and grab some content just as an example and I'll put it right here and uh, save the campaign it goes out on day zero and then the next email for example goes out two days after you choose days and then you put your subject line you put your email body and you save and you continue doing that for the whole follow-up process now we want to start collecting emails and this is why we need to go to the next menu here that says funnels and as you can see I have already created two funnels this is just for testing purposes and if I click on one of them this is a first funnel you can see that inside there is a squeeze page that I named free email marketing and a thank you page uh, where we take them after they opt in 
So um, this is the name of the page. And if you want to see it, you can click on this eye here and you can see a preview. But if you want to edit it and change things inside of that page, you click on that button and you will be on the builder. This is a very easy to use builder. You can add elements, you can add the blocks, like for example, a footer block or features block or anything or price plans and you can click on this button here on top to leave the builder and then you get back to your funnel so let me click on funnel again this is another funnel that i am playing with this is a squeeze page to edit it click here and then you will see what you already did let me go out and if you want to create actually a new page and if you want to create a new page, you click here, uh, create step, and then you call it, for example, let's call it bridge page. All right, and then you choose the type. Uh, so if it's a squeeze page, you click on this one, but here I'm going to choose a sales page. I might sell something on the bridge page. When I click OK, you will see many templates that you can use. I mean, there are templates with videos, without videos, etc. So you can choose, for example, a simple one. You can preview it or select it right away and then start editing it like this. You will see that template and then you start changing information here and you can change everything on this page to make it yours. Oh, let's leave this builder and go back to our previous funnel, which is this one here, just to see that you have a squeeze page and then right away a thank you page. Now this thank you page is looks like this. Let me show you. So this is the thank you page that will uh, precise that they need to go to their email address and click on the confirmation email. And then they will get to the delivery page where you want to give them what you promised on the squeeze page. But you can also put some ads here like promote an affiliate, a related affiliate offer. So if you did some changes, you click here, save changes, and you click here to preview the page, and you can click here to leave the builder. So right now what we have, we have a campaign with the follow-up emails, and we went here to funnels and we created a squeeze page and a thank you page. And now we are ready to promote our squeeze page or landing page and start collecting email addresses. Now, if you want to create a brand new list building funnel, you go to funnels and then you click on create here and then it will ask you to name your funnel. So let's go ahead and name it uh, viral funnel. Why not? And then important, you need to choose this option here in order to build an audience or build an email list. But if you want to sell a product, a digital product, you can use this one. You can use custom to make your custom funnel and you can run an evergreen webinar now we want to do this usd we accept this and then click on create and as you can see right away you have it i mean created for you squeeze page and opt-in thank you page all you have to do is customize your pages so this icon here says that you didn't customize this page uh, uh yet so you click on it and then you choose the right template for your needs i mean you can use this one you can use one with a pop-up or without the pop-up anyways you can if you are for example working with an ebook you can do this template etc so you have lots of options all you have to do is select the template that you like for your project and then you can name it and then you click on this icon here to start customizing your page so you can change the headline you can change the button you can you can add pictures you can add the videos all you have to do is drag and drop so now the video is here you can move it around you can put it wherever you want and then when you're done you just save changes and then you go out using this 
from the builder and then you go to the thank you page and you customize it as well so this is how you create your brand new funnel so I think that this is really a great free affiliate marketing software for everyone that is involved in affiliate marketing or make money online and especially for beginners who don't want to invest in some paid tools. So this tool here is completely free. You can use it to build your list, do affiliate marketing, and you can use it also to make recurring commissions if you decide to promote this software. So I will be back in the future days with more videos about other options on the software here. If you have any questions, please leave them down below this video and please support the channel by a like, subscription, and of course a comment. Thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.